during the Kenetege camp meeting, 1979. And when the man came up, he said, Brethren, I want to encourage you to give tonight because whatever all of you give, I'm going to give double of it. And you know, believer, they said, we will put this man in trouble. This very proud man. How can you say what we give? You will give. Even the people that didn't want to give before, everybody started giving for the Bible College of Kenetege. And then when they counted the offering, 1979, it was $3.5 million. And the man came up again and said, Brother, in Kajungalo, he said, Brother, is this all of you can give? One of our great father in the faith who told the story who was in the meeting. He said, ah, which man is this one? After the man, the, the man said, anyway, I will fulfill my promise. I will give and give above the double of what you have given. He said, when they share the grace, he ran after the man and said, please come. Not to beg money. What is your story? When you see some people talking, it's not pride. It's what they have touched. When a billionaire is talking and you have not had 100,000, you will think he's proud because you will not be at the same level. So he said, he asked him, Oga, what's your secret? He said, don't mind me. I started a business five years ago with $500. And I told God when I was starting, that hold on, every other person pay 10% as tight. If you will prosper this, my business... I will be giving you 90% and be keeping 10%. He said, God kept to his promise. He said, Five, that $500 has become $500 million in five years. You know, this our father said, thank you, I don't hear. <laughs> thank you, thank you, I don't hear. I don't hear. There is a level beyond where you are now. And God is going to take you there. Number four, power to hand an error and open new one. Power to hand an error and open new one. Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. Remember ye not the former thing. Close the last chapter so that the new one can open. You need a power to close it. You know some of us, we are in, a, in an era that look as if demon has just permanent us, permanent us there. We have done everything we can live. There is a power that can close the last chapter and open the new one. When you find yourself at such a level, it's beyond normal. There are horns, sir. Please believe this. Who will not allow you to lift up your head? You may have potential, but those ones will just keep you there. Do you think it was Pharaoh that kept them in Egypt for 430 years? No, check your Bible. Exodus 12, 12. He said the gods of Egypt kept them there. There are gods of Egypt. There are gods of organization that keep people perpetually in one place. The gods of Egypt kept them there. Until power come and set you free from a level, you may not proceed to the next. I know a lady that is a judge in our nation today. She became a judge at the federal level in 2019. I still have the text that she sent to me. Daddy, the Lord has made your daughter. The prophecy has come to pass. I remember very, very well. This will be 2012 or 2013. I was ministering to her one time at Jikoi, the church around that side. She came from town. Husband working in financial institution. I remember one day I was ministering to her. She was on the floor for a very long time. And when she came out, I said, you know what I saw? Because she was just on a permanent level somewhere, you know, going to stay for many years, redundant. You know, you, you know what I saw? Everywhere, every law firm where I have served, especially the law firm of so, -so, -so um, with chieftaincy title, the title of that son, he was a son, he's dead now. He, he, you know those sons that are deep in a courtyard. In fact, he has a title called Akwena. I don't know the English name of Akwena. 
He's a chief. He's a He was. He had. He was happening in Onogo State. Sound powerful sound. He, this lady saw herself being released from there because every junior lawyer that came to serve, there is a way they siphon their destiny in that place. So hers was part of it. Her destiny was tampered with there. Even though she has left physically, but she was still tied down there. Everywhere you have passed through in life, everywhere you have served, every uncle that have laid wicked hand over your head, anywhere they have tampered with your glory, knowingly or unknowingly, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, there shall be deliverance to now. There shall be deliverance to now. There shall be deliverance tonight. There shall be rescue. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Oh Lord. I jack me. I jack me. From stagnation. I jack me. From delay. I jack me. From limitation. Take your seat. It is done. Amen. Take your seat. Hijack me. I mean, she said she saw herself coming out of the place like a lightning. Each office that she has carried file to, every time she has entered into the office of that senior advocate of Nigeria, while she was working with him, God was bringing her out for the number of times that she entered the office. You only thought you were entering the office. It was an atmosphere you were entering. Because sometimes some of them have put some smoke down. They, you know, the realm of the spirit responds to certain things. The realm of the spirit responds to sand. Be careful of the sand that you see around somebody. If it is not of God, you know what to do. The realm of the spirit, sand invites spirit. Smoke invites spirit. Words invite spirit. There are certain things. When you just see all these candu abella all around. You just saw, is it not candu that they sell in Wuse? Ah, be discerning. Be discerning. Every time she entered to see her, whether to sign something or whatever, her destiny was being tampered with. Her glory was being tampered with. Many years after, she was suffering. It. She was the woman, if you have ever had any of my teachers that I said, oh, sometimes some wife will jealous the other. She was one of the women who came to me. I think my husband is using my start. Because the husband was moving forward and she was tied down. Hear this, even though we may be married, our battle may be different. But the Lord brought her out. There is a power that can close the whole chapter. Every wicked hand that you have you, that you have shaken in life and something transfer. They just heard your hand. Oh, how are you? Mr. Jan Lekoko. How are you? And, then, and something, 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 something just, something just girl. And you felt it. But you just look at it and say, it's a good spoon puss. Who says so? You are speaking grammar. It's a destiny transfer. It's a destiny transfer. Don't be deceived by all these eyes something. For every throne, for every seat you see, there are power behind it. We live in a dangerous time. I decree and declare every negative transfer, true and shake. Let there be restoration today. Let there be restoration today. Number five, it is the force to end darkness. And turn light on. The force to end darkness. And turn light on. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Genesis ch chapter 1 verse 3. Let there be light. That's why we call it a dawning of a new day. You see. 1 a.m. today was still today. We finished prayer mansion around that time. But many of you cannot come out. You are doing prayer and saying, you are, even though it was today. Hear this. You may be in your moment and it may be dark. You need the light. It is today. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy come in the morning. I decree, whatever cover you that make them not to see you, let, that, let there be light. Let there be light. 
Let there be light. John 1 5. John 1 5. He said, The light shine in darkness, and the darkness comprehended no. Comprehended no. What are the things that will happen when this power come upon you? Another one for the new dam. Power for the new dam. What are the things that will happen? Number one, a better life. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. You begin to have a better life. Better life. Better life. Sir, I know you are enjoying life now, but there is a better one. I listened to a PA of somebody. He said, when he was called upon to become the PA of this very great man, he said, look at it and say, what we change? He said, the first thing that happened was that, I think their first trip was to London. It was uh, um, this lady that was PM then. What's the name of this reason? May. Is it Teresa May or so? He said, from the Etro, he said, Oh, he said, what I saw. I listened to him. He said, what I saw. I only used to see it in the film, in movies. Because from the tarmac, limo came, about two or three, to come and carry them from the tarmac. You know, like this one, all of us, they just carry us like Dubai. Everybody, you know. <laughs> from the tarmac, limo park and all that. And then she entered with, with his boss and all that. This was position she was, he was praying against. He didn't know what God asked for him. And then they enter. He said, from there, drove to see me. He was just looking. He has never seen that kind of thing in his life. Even though as at that time he was walking in a place that he looked like to be, if I used to boast among his name, what God has done for me, he didn't know he has not seen anything. Can I prophesy over you? And I don't know how sweet your life is now. In the name that is above every other name. Before the end of this month, you will get a better life. 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 Let's take your seat. A better life. There is a better life. There is a better life. Number two, resurrection. Resurrection. John eleven twenty five. Resurrection is not just an event. Resurrection is a person. When this power come upon you, there will be resurrection. Your destiny that is there is going to resurrect because it's going to be a new down. When Jesus resurrected, it was a new down. In fact, he told Mary, he said, don't touch me. I've not yet attended to my father. This is not the same Jesus you used to know. It has changed. It has changed. I'm alive now. And beyond the being alive before, this is a new destiny. Get ready. There will be resurrection of your destiny. There will be resurrection of your Lazarus that was killed john eleven twenty five 25 to 44 your lazarus that was killed is coming back to life you know why your lazarus need to come back there is a dinner that you must attend with the great one that you have not attended john chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 they kill lazarus in chapter 11 but god knew that there was more in his destiny that one day it will be written that he had with the prince of peace. And that day has not happened. Whatever the enemy has killed before your destiny will manifest. Today there will be resurrection. There will be resurrection. There will be resurrection. Number three. Revitalization. Revitalization. Habakkuk chapter three, verse one to five. I don't have time to read it. There will be revitalization, revival. What is not dead yet, but is dying, is dying. You are just making it up. Is dying, is dying. The business is not yet dead, but is dying. Money is not coming. You are injecting money. The marriage is not yet dead, but you are no longer talking. Five years, no talking. The Lord is going to revive it. Anything in your life that need revival. By this power, there will be revival. Number four, reawakening. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1 to 2. Reawakening. This one is not dying, but he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Destiny is sleeping. He's going to wake up. 
wake up to destiny. You are beginning to sleep. You are beginning to lag behind in destiny. And you are calling it his age. Mm -mm. You need to wake up. Say, I will wake up. He said, I wake. Isaiah 52. Sorry, Isaiah 52. If I mention 55, I meant 52. One to two. Number five is regeneration. Regeneration. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 14. Regeneration. These people were great army, but they've been killed, destroyed. God has recreative ability. Number six is restoration. Joel chapter 2 verse 25. What you lost, what is missing, what is stolen from your life, there will be restoration so that you can have a new down. And number seven is resurgence. Resurgence. What does this mean? Activity will start again. Event will start again. Celebration will start again. Occurrence will start again. People have not been hearing from you. Suddenly, your old friend, they will be looking for you on Facebook because they have had the news. What is the effect of this power in the life of Elisha? And then we close. What is the effect? When, when, when Elijah came, this guy was already a big time farmer. And this guy just came and dropped power upon me. He just touched him. What's the effect of this? Take note of this. Pick these five lessons from this. Number one, this power tonight will make your destiny to be found. First Kings chapter 19, verse 17 and verse 19. I saw what I've never saw. I've, I've known this scripture. It should be more than 20 years. That I've known this scripture. But I saw something I've never seen. Look at this. Permit me to read at this level. I just have only five things to say. And it shall come to pass. That him that escaped the sword of Asahel. Shall Jehu slay. And him that escaped the sword of Jehu. Shall Elisha slay. Who was Elisha? Elisha was not the sons of the prophet. Elisha was not yet a ministry. And yet, God was already speaking about him. Because before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee. And I've already ordained you. You see, if you find yourself to be ordained physically in life, it's just a confirmation of ordination that has been done before you were born. There was nobody referred to Elisha. And yet, the program and plan of God was in place. But hear this. Everybody remain lost in destiny until you are found. It is when the power of God finds you that you find destiny. Hear this. You are only existing until you find destiny. You are not living until you find your destiny. You are not alive. You are only existing. You can exist for 120 years. Methuselah existed. Can exist. Anybody in coma is existing, but he's not alive. That's the life many people live. They are in coma. They are not dead, but they are not living. Living means you are engaging life. Living means you are making an impact. Living means you are not just surviving, you are serving. You are touching life. You are making your impact. You are making your contribution. I saw industrial gas. I went to mining fee. I did this. I did that. I did that. Until you find your destiny, stability begin. Race of life begin. You begin to do you. The Bible said it was in verse 19 that the power find you. But God has mentioned him. Do you see Peter also? Time will fail me to tell you about him. He toiled all the night, but Jesus told him, from now on, you will be fishers of men. Do you know, even when Jesus died, the guy went back there. He was tempted. He said, anyway, if we can't go forward, we'll go back to where we are coming from. Jesus has to come back and say, Peter, Peter, love us me more than this. Today, we have St. Peter Basilica, St. Peter Arima Ibadan, St. Peter this. His name would not have known 
until he encountered destiny. Number two. Are you getting something? The power will find you tonight. Number two, this power single out Elisha out of the crowd. And among those that are better than him. First Kings chapter 19 verse 18. I saw this one also today. Don't worry about how many people are in the world. God relates with us as individuals. Yet, I left me 7,000 in Israel. All the need which have not bowed unto Baal. And every mouth which has not kissed him. And that's why we have to be careful when you are in your new down. Don't think it's because you are better off. It's just because God has shown you mercy. Whoever God lift has no reason for pride. If you see the way that woman fell down in my office yesterday, she was surprised. I said, it wasn't about, I know the, mm -mm. it was the hand of God. When it is God that truly lift you, we will know by your humility. For I am the least of the apostles. I came late. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 9 and 10. I came late. I'm the least of the apostles. I'm the least, but now I'm leading. Not me. I labor more than they, but yet not I. But the grace of God. He said, I, did, I didn't fit into this. I persecuted the church. I'm the least. But God has made me. Let me tell you, the sign of who lived you is your humility. We will know whether you are the one jumping by yourself or it's God that lifts you. For humble yourself under the mighty hand of God so that in due time, he may exalt you. Somebody has been lifted this season. Somebody has been lifted this season. Somebody has been lifted this season. The question is, where was the, was the servant that Elijah sent to go and look at the sky? He had no name. Proximity is not an advantage in the kingdom. It is power. This servant was there. Who was Elijah? There were 50 other sons of the prophet who were close to Elijah. Who will have carried this mantle? But where were they? He's single. I'm prophesying to somebody today. As God of heaven lifts, who sent us, that from tonight, your lifting has started. 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 Number three, this power tonight will lift you beyond all greatness you have ever known. Now, this is a prophetic word that God gave me. You better take note of them. This is number three. He will lift you beyond all greatness you have ever known. First King chapter 19, verse 19. You don't know the importance of this passage. The Bible says a man was a farmer and he had 12 tractors. Apart from 12 tractors, he had 12 people, engineers, that were working on each of the tractors. And he himself was working alongside with them. This was a big time farmer. But well, hear this. That was very, very little compared to his destiny. He's a farmer. Compared to when the president of the nation will be calling you my father. My father, what can we do? Who is a farmer compared to you parting Jordan? Who is a farmer compared to you providing food for the sons of the prophet? Who is a farmer compared to you calling back the iron axe head to swim? The power beyond the political power, beyond the military power, beyond the financial power. Who is a farmer? When there is farming in the land and there is no rain that you can't farm anymore and people are already hitting their children but everybody is waiting for one word from you that as soon as you speak that heaven will open and there will be surplus at the gate of Samaria. Who is a farmer compare to what God asks for you? Can I tell you the least of your plan, the best of your plan is not up to the least of God's plan for your life. Don't settle for less. 
Don't settle for Afri. Don't settle for a life of animal. Your destiny is greater than what you are looking at. Let the power of God touch you tonight so that you can realize destiny and fulfill purpose. What God has in store for you is beyond what you have ever seen. All your life is beyond what you have ever read. All your life, where God wants to take you, no man has been there. For eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of any man what God has prepared for those that love him. But it has been revealed unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searched all things. Yea, the deep things of God. It was deeper than what you are looking at. It was deeper than what you are calling for. Please, God want to take you to ocean. Don't settle for the water in the bucket. Take your seat. Sinat was reading chemistry in University of Podakot. And then John, John the Lord watch church and Northern was serving. And at the time, some of our me, everybody was trying to jump out and know that to America. And his pastor, pastor told him, and said, you are not going. Everybody can go. You are not going. I saw the grace of God in your life. Stay here. You are not going. And she said, no, 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 no. You are not going. Stay there. And she kept on doing that. She kept on doing that. All of our meat, we didn't hear the name of anybody. One day I saw her singing in Joel Austin Church. Singing with Mika. You can, and she said something. I love what she said. When they gave her the mic, she said, this is the same church that I tried to attend many years that we couldn't get, even get a parking space. We couldn't even enter. Now they call me to come and sing here. What has brought me here? They call me to come and sing here. If you carry your uh, certificate of uh, your chemistry on your head, there are many people who are professor of chemistry sitting down hearing you. One of us who stay in the United States has the citizenship and all that. Some months ago, you had her testimony to us last year. She was selected, recognized by the, our nation, and sent to United Nations. She said, Daddy, when I saw my name and I sat in that hall, I freeze. Even though she lives in the United States, she has never entered that place. What I'm telling you is this. Stop raising your shoulder. There is a greater destiny in front. There is something you have not seen. You may have 12 tractors, but there is something greater than that. There is a destiny greater than that. Number, this power, prophetic word, this power will make you to lose the taste of your current status, no matter how great it is. The glimpse of what you have been called into will make you to lose the taste of what you have been called out from. It won't satisfy you anymore. This is how you will know the power has taught you. Now, this guy just touched, he just touched Eli Elisha. He just, just a touch like this. Just a touch like this. A taste. You see, when you have the taste of the future, the present will no longer entice you. This is how God hope on people's heart. It will no longer entice you. It will no longer. He just touch him. You know what Elijah said? He said, no, please, I'm coming. Ah! You are looking at 12 tractors. You have people. This is a family business. And so the power has touched me. There is a new hunger. The power has touched me. There is a new hunger. What could have made me to abandon the mining field? And run after Jesus. It wasn't for mundane things. We're not looking for money. There is something beyond that. What could have? What could have? What could have? What could have? He touched him. And then he lost the taste. I pray for somebody today. That in the name that is above every other name. You will not sell your destiny. You will not sell your future. Hebrew chapter 12 verse 2. Hebrews 12, 2. Who for the joy that was set before him, forget the challenges of the present and reach for future. And reach for future. In Luke chapter 9, verse 57 to 62. And this is, this is the failure of many. Many people can encounter power, but they will not know the importance of it and waste it. 
These people, Jesus came around them like Elijah came around Elisha and he showed interest. They began to give excuses. Do you know these nameless three people will have been among the disciples and apostles who they said turned the world upside down? But you know, they begin to give excuses. Excuses. Excuses are the language of immature. They are the language of immature. Jesus said, follow me. Uh, please wait for me. I want to bury my father. Please wait for me. I just have an oxen. Please this. And Jesus said, no one that put his hand on a plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom. It's not fit for the kingdom. When the power touches you. Especially when he come to come and be great. Mm -mm. I hands up. I call somebody to say, I said, never send this kind of thing. It's compulsory. Mm -mm. Especially for Fiji. Are you praying for me? No, 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 no. My friend sleep, Jerry. Sleep, 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 sleep very well. Sleep 12 hours. Sleep 15 hours. No challenge. No shaking. Because you will step on many people's toe. If you want to say they should come to the next level, you will offend many people. So leave them until they wake up. Leave them until they can handle it. Leave them until they realize it. Otherwise, you will have more enemies than friends. Number what? Number three. Be sensitive to the power and the power carrier that God has connected you with. 
2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19. Be sensitive. That man walked up to me that year. He said, sir, this. Some of you know the testimony of one of the senators or house of the rev something. He met me in Israel. We have never seen. He just told the wife, this man that I'm seeing is a man of God. Go and give him this. Go and give him that. Be sensitive. Be sensitive. Those of you that are connected with people that carry power, be sensitive. Even if you marry them, you must know the time of husband and the time of grace. Otherwise, you will miss it. You will miss. You will relate with a prophet as if he's your husband. No. There is a switch. There is a switch. And that's why, let me say this at this point. Not everybody is called to marry prophet or marry pastor. It's a calling. Otherwise, you will go a wire. Not everybody. Not everybody. Not every, so be sensitive. When they are your friend, be sensitive to who is speaking per time. Second to the last one, number four. Like I said, burn the bridge and face your front. Luke 9, 57 to 62. No looking back, forward looking. And finally, volunteer and serve. This is what our generation doesn't know. And I think they practice it in the Western world. As you are going to school, they give you opportunity to volunteer. When people say they don't have a job, you have seen a lazy person. There is a way you can volunteer, and then from there, God will take you up. First King chapter 19, verse 21. Second King chapter 2, verse 21. Elisha was ministering to Elijah. He volunteered. He was serving. He was serving. Suddenly, greatness found him. One of our leaders in this church today, I don't want to mention his particular department. He told me his story one day. He just laid down my office. I said, thank you, thank you. you know, he said, I came to this church. I used to work communion cup in the women's center. And all that, and all that. What's communion cup? That was where we were serving. And suddenly from one place to the other, I mean, at over 40, no married, nothing, no greatness. And suddenly, level change. Level change. Level change. Level change. Level change. Level change. And level continuously change. And life continuously change. And everything continuously change. The official title of Elijah was the one that poured water in the hand of Elijah. And don't do eye service. Somebody, I told you my story of the last journey. I met a millionaire at the airport. And just exactly... If he sees me around church the way he will do, please don't do eye service. I was embarrassed. Him coming around and honor in the public. And oh, sir, you're here, this one, that, that, this one, and took our bag and all that. I wonder, he was not pretending from the takeoff point to the landing point, even among the Uyimbos. This is my pastor. As long as as you volunteer for his eye service, power can't touch you. Stand over your feet. Stand to your feet. Are you blessed tonight? You didn't show it. You know, when food is too much, there can be constipation. Shall we lift up our hands? <laughs> there can be constipation. Hear this. Power is about to touch you tonight. And these five prophetic words shall come to pass in your life. Can I hear your amen? Lift up your two and say, my father, my father. Thank you for the word you have sent to me. To you alone. Be all the glory. Go ahead and give thanks. Give him 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 thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. I won't go into all the prayer. We just pray at once. I'll pray for you. But hear this. Your destiny is about to change now. Your life is about to change now. Can I hear your amen? Lift up your two hands. Say, Father, 
Say, Father, say, Father, by your power, find my destiny for me tonight. In the name of Jesus, wherever I'm lost in life, Father, find me. Father, find me. Let your power find me. I don't want to be a wanderer in destiny. I don't want to be a vagabond in destiny. I don't want to be a wanderer in destiny. I don't want to be a vagabond in destiny. Mashat Allah dabariyata. Ishada gada gada. Erota. Ishagada gada. Ariyata. Ishalada. Eketada. Ashayada gadesha. Erota. Ashadiyata. In Jesus name we pray. Number two, say Father, let your power single me out tonight. Let your power single me out. Please pray that prayer. Among the crowd, there are 8 billion people in the world. Let your power single me out. Let your power distinguish me. Let your power single me out. Let your power single me out. Let your power distinguish me. Single me out. 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 Sing me a ashata la da barriat ashala da busha arriata da da ashala gada arrosa sing me a 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 ashala da dusha ale kata ashala da e parrosa sing me a among milonia among bilonia in ministry in the journey of life sing me a in Jesus name we pray finally I will pray the rest for you but pray this one lift your hand Lord let your power lift me beyond all greatness I've ever known let your power lift me beyond all greatness beyond all breakthrough I have ever known let your power lift me beyond all greatness beyond beyond everything that I've ever known beyond 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 what I've ever seen beyond what I've ever known beyond what I've ever seen beyond what I've ever known in Jesus name we pray lift up your two hands I decree and declare three things. Number one, we are ever desert of life that you are now. The power of the Holy Ghost search you out. The power of the Holy Ghost bring you out. We are ever your destiny has fallen inside water like the ark axe head, your cutting edge, your gifting, your, your glory inside the water. And he said, we have felt it. Then he cut a stick. I decree and declare, let that destiny swim out now. Let it swim out. Let it swim out. Every one of you that used to see bodies of waters in the dream, that used to cross one water or the other, I decree and declare, wherever they bury your destiny, in the high sea, or in water, in the name of Jesus, this night you are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. Your destiny is out. Swim out now. Swim out now. Number two, that I'm decreeing for this level before you take communion. I decree and declare, no matter how many people they are considering for promotion or for a word of contract or to pay their money or gratitude, anything you are involved in and there are a crowd around there and they are going to select one or some individual. Tonight, by this power, your name will make the list. Your name will make the list. Your name will make the list. They will award the contract to you. Ah, he said to Joshua, He said, From today, no man shall be able to stand before you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. On this day, 25th of March, 
2024 in every contention you shall have upper hand your company shall have upper hand your name shall make the least of favor in the name of Jesus and number three lastly for this section I declare and decree any greatness you have ever experienced any greatness you have ever known any greatness you have ever read about in the name of Jesus by this power tonight your own greatness shall surpass them It's scriptural. I'm not just making it up. For eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Nobody has ever imagined it. In the name that is above every other name. Let the power rest on you now. 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 New level of greatness. Higher level of greatness. In the name of Jesus. And it starts now. Lift your hands and give him thanks if you receive it. Lift your hands and give him thanks if you receive it. Lift your hands and give him thanks if you receive it. Thank you, Father. Put your hands down. In one minute, can you stand with me? Everyone that needs to surrender to Jesus tonight, I want to pray for you. Everyone that you say, Pastor, I need the fear of God in my life. I need God to touch me. I need to surrender my life. Lift up your right hand where you are. I want to pray for you. Your right hand. Lift it very well. God bless you. God bless you. Quickly rush to the altar. Let me pray for you right now. The rest of us can take our seat. Lift your hands and step forward to the altar. Rush to the altar. Quickly come. I need to surrender to Jesus. I need to make him the Lord of my life. I pray for this communion and I dedicate it as the communion of power for new down. Power for new down. Power for new down. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everyone that partake of this shall experience newness of life. In Jesus' name. As you are taking this communion tonight, you are shouting better life, better life. Prepare your seed, your offering, your sacrifice, your tithe. Tonight, you will do well by making your seed special because this is a special um, program. It's a special conference. Not like what we have been having. Making your seed special. I pray over every seed that is raised for the Lord tonight. That the power of God rests upon your finances. The level of financing you have never known all your life. The power of God break you into that level. In the name of Jesus. All the titles, life will not be tight for you. Your evil are permanently and perpetually open for blessing that is unfinishable. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As you are taking communion tonight, you are shouting better life. Better life. Tomorrow is deliverance service into new life. Deliverance into new life. It's going to be powerful in the evening. And in the morning, it's still 6 a.m. I'll just pray with us briefly. Get ready. The Lord I started something new in your life. Then I'll, I'll just pray for healing and then we'll share the grace. Please, you are free to take your communion once you drop your seed. People in the front, put your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you. Please forgive me all my sins. Remove my names from the book of death. Write my names in the book of life. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do your will. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for you. I pray for you today that the Lord cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Establish you in salvation. Make all things to go well for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. Please this way, the ministers and pastors will go with you. They will serve you communion and bring you back.
If you have taken, oh sorry, just one minute. Uh, if you have not taken communion, can you shout hallelujah? Oh, stand to your feet. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Trap midnight tonight. Before I have that testimony, God has already given the word and said accelerated promotion. Tonight is the second night. And tomorrow will be the so or trap midnight is the second day. So we meet there. And uh, in the morning, 6 a.m., my glory must speak. In the morning, my glory must speak. In the evening, a new down. That's the series. And I see you having testimony. You are going to hear some mind, mind, powerful testimony tomorrow. Oh, powerful testimony. Mind-blowing testimonies tomorrow. And you will be that one that will testify. You will be that man that will testify. You'll be that woman that will testify. You'll be that brother that will testify. Lift up your hands to him. If today is your first time, you can step forward to the other. Now, I want to decree that the power of God will rest on you. We call it power touch. I don't want to take your time. Um, you know, this program is scheduled for five to eight. This is just six minutes after. So, under four minutes, now I'm through. So, I'm just going to decree power rest on your hands. And you will lay it on your head. Then I will pray for you. Is that okay? Lift up those two hands. If today is your first time, you can step forward to the altar. Lord, I ask that the power for new dawn be deposited into these hands. We use our hands as prophetic instrument that as we place it on our head, the hand of God rests upon us and bring us into that new dawn. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that is sick with pain, with affliction in the body, it disappears now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. At the count of three, you place the hand on your head and decree I receive. Then I pray for you and then we share the grace. Are you ready? Those powers are in your hands right now. At the count of three, you place it on your head and say I receive. One. Two. Three. Again. Again. For the last time. I decree and declare. The power for the new dawn. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. 
a power to see the invisible so that you can lose taste for what is available in the name of Jesus let that power rest on you now Finally, the power that bring new destiny that make you to burn the bridge and face the future. The power that make your destiny to unfold and make the reason why you are not miscarried in your mother's womb that you are still assisting to now. That power, let it rest on you now. Whoever you need to meet this season that will accelerate your journey, that connection is established now. Whoever need to remember you for destiny to be fulfilled, they remember you now. In the name of Jesus, you will not die young. You will not disappoint God. You will not disappoint your destiny. You will not disappoint yourself. You will not disappoint your man of God. In the name of Jesus. Now after all this, every spiritual investment, that your life shall be productive. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Welcome to your new dawn. Now, camp around God all through this week. Morning, evening, don't miss it. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 2024, my year of new era, my year of new dawn. My year of higher dimensions. These are my portion. Amen. Hallelujah. Please make sure you invite at least 10 people for the program tomorrow. Can I hear your amen? Make sure you don't miss it this week. The Lord bless you. The Lord go with you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord increase you in leaves and in bar. The Lord advance your cause. Advance your destiny. And prosper you. Go forward. Advance succeed in the name of jesus return tomorrow with your testimony in jesus name you are welcome we're happy to see you this is god city international church a place of deliverance rescue restoration and mobile fire the lord bless you make his face to shine upon you increase you in leaves and in bar, and make things to work for you thank you father in jesus name we pray